Hey gang, I got four Friedman pedals here. I got the Golden Pearl, the Buxom Boost, the BEOD, and the Dirty Shirley. Plugging them into my vintage 60 something uh, uh, blackface basement head, which is dirty and gritty and kind of old sounding. Anyway, how do you review four pedals at a time? So I worked up a little jammy jam and I just kind of like quickly laid down some parts with the pedals, uh, flip, flip, flip. And then I, uh, I'll give you a little walkthrough with some, some talking and some playing and some knob turning. And I hope this helps you, uh, kind of get a feel for the pedals and, uh, maybe find one that, uh, you will like and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Right now everything is off. Here is the basement, um, just in the normal channel. But it's a good, fat, clean sound. It takes pedals nicely, so I dig the amp, and it usually sounds cool, like in a track. Uh, I'm just gonna start off with the Buxom Boost, because that just takes what you got and gives you some more goodness there. So that's pretty transparent. Uh, even though I have a little bit going on, it just clears it up a bit. Yeah, let's give it a little, little jam. starts to push the amp into breakup you could go crazy it's probably going to clip but there's so much uh, gain on tap on this thing <laughs>
<laughs> it's a lot of gain on tap. Now this is cool because you could take the e this top EQ out of the circuit if you want a very clean boost or uh, you just want to be able to use that glorious tight knob. <laughs> And this tight knob really does a great job of unmucking uh, the tone here. Let me see if I can get a real mucky. You can hear all the little fizzy cracks and crap in my amp. I really like the sound of the front end of the amp just getting blitzed. It's great. Like the tight knob almost always can make things a little better. Uh, it's great. This new guy, the Golden Pearl, every time I kick it in, it feels like it adds a little more energy and a little more aggression to the sound, even if it's sort of clean like. <laughs> So I guess I'm getting a little bit of boost here, and I, I really like the color. It, it's it's very cool sounding to me. So now let's kick in some drive. As the drive comes up, your level's going up, and you kind of have to compensate here. So there's a little give and take. Drive, level, drive, level. And that's with no clipping. I'm just driving the front end of the amp, and, and I guess getting a little of whatever juice this guy has to give. You can cut off some of that high end fizz, and that will go away also when you're in the clippings. So let's go to, uh, let's go to, I think this is. <laughs> that at the bottom setting. Let's try this other clipping mode. So the bottom uh, mode is smoother but a little less aggressive too. So it's kind of whatever is floating your boat. Uh, let's let's get lots of gain. We're in a high cut down. The voice is down. <laughs> touch sensitive um, like all the Friedman stuff it's quick uh, which is nice especially in this basement which isn't particularly quick it's a little saggy so this complements that I think nicely and I'll give it a tone knob a little twist here that's still really usable uh, I bet this this will be a bit much. Let's go up and see what happens here. That was good. <laughs> On its own, it's not necessarily like a big, smooth, gooey thing. It's edgy and raspy. You crank up a AC30 or like uh, maybe a, a tweed 
old fender and you get that sort of get all the nastiness around the big fundamental tone that's what i kind of dig about it and i think in the track it's going to really sing and be aggressive in a super cool way now the dirty shirley uh is not unlike its amp uh namesake uh it's fat and uh big sounding <laughs> And this pedal, in particular, cleans up really well, and you've got all these tones. So in this guy, to me, this pedal comes alive. We can just turn the bass on full. And then that sounds to me like the Dirty Shirley. Of course, there's times you're not going to want that. Uh, but nice, they included semi-secret tight switch, which is over here on the side. I don't know if you can see that too well behind the cable. So right now, the tight is out. Turn the tight on. This is a much more mid forward pedal than the others, really. Let me show you what happens when we center this guy up and the bass. We'll just start kind of in a more middle setting. I'm going to leave the tight switch in. Put that bass up. Oh. And let's crank the mids and see where it it's sitting. Sounds good. not the best pairing for it uh, but there's some cool sounds in here nonetheless <laughs> Sometimes I forget I'm not in drop D tuning and I, Man, I like it anyway, I don't care. Look how much bottom end is happening. like stoner rock to the max, like humongous. I could live here for a long time. This is good fun. Oh, but, uh, okay, we'll, I'll move forward. Let's see what we have. I'm like gain drunk on this thing. All right, I'm calming down. Going to the tight knob. That's 
a long way to turn on a tight knob, but it sounds great. And I know this will sound much more realistic in a track where there's room for a bass player. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. That sounds great. Let's see if I can get the Dirty Shirley kind of mean. The Dirty Shirley and the BOD are very amp-like pedals, so uh, I'm kind of treating that as a uh, sort of platform, not even really considering it as amp power section. <laughs> I've got the Dirty Shirley set up basically like an amp, and now I could give a little boosty boost in front of it with either the Golden Pearl or the Boxum Boost. So let's dial this in. I'm taking the cuts out. Go to the top, yeah. that like extra aggression that really I'm only getting out of the Golden Pearl. If I crank the gain on the Dirty Shirley, it's not the same thing. It's much smoother. So that's that Golden Pearl rocking. <laughs> 